Acknowledgement. Greetings, meatbags, fellow bots, and whoever else might be watching. Ah, uh, meatbaggy. It seems like only yesterday you were making a video to explain how you'd never be back to YouTube. Except you did come back and delivered the lamest plea for peace I have ever seen. In an apparent attempt to gaslight those observing you. Indeed, I recall you insisting that you were not back on YouTube, despite the just-mentioned video. Well, today you were back again, so let's hear it. What's up, YouTube? Um... I know I said I wasn't gonna be back for about a year, but... Actually, you were kind of vague on that. At first it was never, then, later in the same speech, the time frame was 20 to 30 years. It's okay, Chance, we've come to learn who and what you are. So, this was expected. I talked to my therapist this morning. <laughs> Your therapist, <laughs> That's a good one, Raxo! Let me explain why I find this so funny. If you are talking to one, You've either got someone who doesn't know what they're doing, or you've been lying your ass off to him, her. Guaranteed, a trained therapist who knows your real story would tell you to stay as far away from the internet as possible. Know how you can tell? No therapist would encourage their patient to walk back into this mental meat grinder. Well, maybe Hannibal Lecter would. Unless they've been snowed by you, of course. Let me tell you, Raxi, lying to your therapist is not the way to get better. This actually proves you're doing worse, Chance, worse. Um, because I have been seeing a therapist, especially after everything I've been through. And they do know about everything that's going on, and... No! They don't, again, unless they're a quack or closeted psycho. And they said that, um... Using my outlet to release my anger would be a very good thing to kind of help the healing process. Chance, next time you talk to your therapist, have them watch one of your so-called cover shows. If they are worth their salt, they'll tell you that you're only making things worse on yourself by coming back. You told them people want to hear you, didn't you? Made it sound like you only had a couple of mean people looking to push you down for being quote-unquote different, right? On a quick side note, you seem to be under the impression we'll accept you being back based on this therapy excuse. Nope, not gonna happen. There is no such thing as a doctor's note to get delusional PDF files out of facing the consequences of their actions. Whether it be sicko stuff or horrible, ugh, performance. Nobody wants either of those things. You're a sensitive little bag of emotion, and you'd have us believe a professional told you to come back. Show us the note, Chance. I'd love to chat with your therapist. They'd probably want to hear from me, too. I have proof of who and what you are. And to help me getting back to where I want to be. Um... So, from here on, not every day, but once in a while, uh, for the next several months, you guys will be hearing me doing a lot of very, very heavy covers of certain songs, as a lot of the heavier songs that I've listened to have helped me get through a lot of what I've been through, so. You are making a big mistake. Again, growling to the music may make you feel better for a few minutes, but it only draws negative attention to you. Derp, meaning you're going to feel bad again sooner, which also means you'll be back to yell in order to feel better, probably every day, maybe even several times a day when things really start bugging you. Essentially, you're throwing yourself into a vicious cycle. How marvelous. Yeah. Now again, don't expect to cover every day. It's only going to be a once in a while thing. Um, for now, it's literally just me getting my anger out. But I do hope that you guys still enjoy the covers I'm going to be for you guys. Not a chance in hell, Chance. As stated before, nobody actually likes your garbage. What they do like is seeing you get shredded in the comments and chat. That might be the saddest part. 
You're hanging on to false hope given to you by buddy trolls. It might be, but of course it's not. The saddest thing is that you're not in an institution somewhere. Whether it be penal or custodial. Peace. And, uh, I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are happy. Um, and yeah, just remember. Healthy life. Freeze. Folks, does this look like the picture of a healthy life? Have a gander at yourself. You're not even close to healthy. You're covered in sores, bug bites, lotion, slobber, and can't even keep your eyes open. Sucking down sludge. You'll be lucky to see 40. Happy life. Peace. Your life will never be happy as long as you're on the internet. As an identified PDF file. People don't want you here. Your talent for music is equal to Cobes' cooking talent. Look at him for a minute, Chance. How he hacks food is what we think your covers sound like. Your shows are literally the audio equivalent of a disgusting food hack. Anyway, this is an interesting twist, my friends. It was clear he was going to be looking for a way back, even as he said he was leaving. However, his supposed therapist could make things interesting. Thank you for checking this out. Enjoy your day, and always remember, you are the finest meatbags I have ever known.